Hi everybody. Uh, I thought that I would hop on today and do a, uh, a video on some um, good deals that I got, whether it be Walmart or thrift stores or, um, you know, just some good deals that I wanted to tell you guys about. Um, and the reason why I'm dark and you can see outside is because I'm filming today from my little um, reading nook that I have in my kitchen. I wanted you guys to see the weather. We are having a big storm here today and it's snowy and blustery and cold and um, it's awfully pretty though. I wanted you guys to see uh, what we're dealing with in Maine today. And that white vehicle you see across the street pointed at us, that's my vehicle, kind of buried there. Um, anyway, I am showing you this because I wanted you to see this beautiful stained glass window that I have stuck up in my my window. Um, I got that for five dollars at a thrift store and I just couldn't believe it. And it's real stained glass. It's not, uh, you know, one of those fake kits that you kind of put together. It's real stained glass. Um, so that was a find and a half because I have these beautiful windows in my apartment and uh, I couldn't wait to put that up. Anyway, I'm going to spin around and see if maybe we can get the lighting a little bit better. Okay, that seems to be a tad bit better. Okay, all right, so the stained glass, that was $5, like I said, and I got that at um, a Salvation Army. Uh, let's see, the next thing I want to, oh, oh, before I show you anything else, I want to show you my gorgeous, I told you that I'd show you, my cactus plant. <laughs> it's supposed to be a, look at it, it's loaded with flowers, it's just so pretty. It's supposed to be a Christmas cactus, but, I mean, it's January, and it's in bloom and gorgeous. Anyway, I've been enjoying that. So, so that was one, one thing I wanted to show you. Um, the next thing on the list I wanted to show you was something I bought for my granddaughter. Now, I know she loves Frozen. What little girl these days doesn't, right? Well, anyway, I got this little Anna doll at a thrift store for a dollar. And I checked it out online, and I on Amazon it's $19.99, so I got it for a dollar. That's a pretty good deal, I thought. Anyway, she loves her little dollies. The next thing I got for her, I got this from Walmart. It's a Peppa Pig puzzle. And if you can see, I don't know if you can see the little tag. It was $5.97, it was marked down to $3. I thought that would be a fun thing she could do at her grandmother's house. Um, let's see, the next thing I got was a coffee pot for my coffee maker. And I got one, I was on the lookout for one because mine, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a crack in it right there. Oops, that might even be a hole. No, it's not a hole yet, but there's a crack in it. So I was on the lookout for one and look, I found one just exactly like it. So here's mine and here's the one I found, exactly the same. Now I will tell you that the one that I picked up at the thrift store, oh, and it was $2.50. Uh, the one that I picked up at the thrift store was disgustingly dirty. It was filthy. So I've soaked it and I've scrubbed it and I've taken every um, cleaner and scrubber to it that I could think of and I'm still kind of scrubbing it a little. But anyway, I um, got a good deal on that. The next thing, let's see. Uh, so it was a pig puzzle. Oh, I got this lamp. This lamp here I wanted to show you. I got the lamp at Goodwill. And it was $2. It was brown, and I painted it black. Now, the shade is that primitive style, and I a country primitive kind of type thing, and I did pay about $23 for that. And I got that at a primitive store, but the lamp was $2. I slapped on some, had some Rust-Oleum spray paint, and I just sprayed it on. I don't even think I washed the lamp before I, I, um, before I painted it, but anyway, that was a good deal. I have another one, but I can't reach it to get it down. It's plugged in behind my refrigerator, so that was also $2, but I just did the same thing. I spray painted it black, and I got a little shade for it at uh, Walmart. I think it was like four or five dollars for the shade. But anyway, that's where I get my lamps. I don't, um, I don't pay extra for those. Um, okay, and then the next thing I got 
wasn't really a deal. These are L.L. Bean flannel PJs. Now, here they are. They are, oh my gosh, you guys, they are so comfortable and so warm. These are my flannel PJs that I got from L.L. Bean. So what the deal was with those is that I have had two L.L. Bean nightgowns, uh, flannel nightgowns, for 25 years. And they finally, both of them, wore out. They actually had holes in them this um, this um, winter. So I, in my family, we have a lot of people in my family. And so um, they, we always pick names. And whoever got my name wanted to know what I wanted. And I said, well, you know, the, these flannel pajamas are like $75 at L.L. Bean. And that's too much too much for a gift too but I had suggested a gift certificate to L.L. Bean so that's what I got I got a $30 gift certificate so the pajamas when I bought them in January were on sale for $54 54.74 I got my $30 gift certificate and so my cost for those pajamas was $27.75 now I will tell you that um, what I had was two uh, flannel nightgowns and they were actually men's nightgowns and I'd got them as gifts years and years ago. And when they finally wore out, they don't, L.L. Bean doesn't make men's flannel nightgowns anymore. Um, and the woman's flannel nightgown that was my size was out of stock. And they probably won't get any in until next year. And I didn't want to wait. So I went with the pajamas instead. And you know what? I think I like them better. They keep my legs warmer. Um, so I am loving my L.L. Bean flannel PJs and they're still the L.L. Bean quality the Portuguese flannel they're fabulous I love them okay the next thing I got were some uh, clothes I wanted to show you I just picked these up this is a beautiful sweater hope you can see this is a sweater look how pretty it looks like a watercolor painting isn't that gorgeous there's like a lighthouse on the other side if you can see it oh my gosh it's gorgeous and it goes on the sleeves as well but it's this really pretty green oops you can't see it very well it's a pale green and then there's blues and oh my gosh that's so pretty well I got that for 50 cents at a Salvation Army um, this here well this I got a while ago but it's just a sweater um, it's a Croft and Barrow and it's just a sweater and you know I've, I'm this apartment that I live in is a little bit cool So I like to have some sweaters to wear around the house and this was I think I got this for two dollars at uh, a Salvation Army Well, this little honey I just picked up at a Salvation Army. It is an L.L. Bean wrinkle resistant top a button-down long sleeve shirt I got this for 50 cents at a Salvation Army. It is L.L. Bean wrinkle resistant and I got online to check to see how much it was it was and I found out that it was if it's the same one that I can find online I can't find this this particular pattern you know the, the flowers are gorgeous I love the flowers in it and it, I couldn't find that exact one but the shirt that I think it is is the wrinkle resistant long sleeve button-down shirt it was 54 54 dollars and i got it for 50 cents well i thought when i got home i thought well maybe these two could go together it's not an exact match color wise but i thought well maybe that would work and then i have this gorgeous necklace if i can find it right here i have this gorgeous necklace isn't that beautiful and i thought well maybe that would go with that what kind of you know, so I, I'm just kind of trying to put together my, my great deals and my great buys. Um, I will tell you that the, and, and another weird thing about this shirt is, uh, it fits like a glove. It fits me perfectly. Um, and uh, with L.L. Bean, they're kind of known to have short sleeves, and I have long arms. Those sleeves fit perfectly. However, that being said, that is a 100% cotton shirt, so I am not going to dry it. So that's not going in the dryer and neither is that pretty sweater that I got but anyway that sweater is a Talbot sweater I couldn't find it on Talbot's site to see how much it was but 50 cents for those two you guys and so how I did that this week this time when I went was I asked the ladies they had a sign up that said anything with a orange tag was 50 cents so I you know asked them can you point me in the right direction where they they keep them in one certain area but there's no sign in that area saying here are the things that are 50 cents um, so I asked the ladies and they said that whole rack over there so I checked that rack now I found all kinds of things 
that weren't my size, but really good quality. Ralph Lauren and um, Eddie Bauer. So there was some great stuff for 50 cents. My goodness sakes, that was the deal of the day. Uh, anyway, I, all these things I got at different times, not just um, not just in one you know one sitting. Uh, oh, and this is something that I did. This is not really a, a deal, but I wanted to show you. You know, I'm always saying that um, half the battle of having money is making it, but the other half is not spending it. So, in my new um, YouTube, you know, I've got this new YouTube channel, and I'm kind of got my eye peeled for some better equipment. And so I was looking for a tripod, but and I bought a tripod. This tripod here has bendable legs. I got it at Walmart for like sixteen dollars, and it holds your cell your uh, cell phone or a digital camera. And my digital camera uh, doesn't really um, video for very long. I need a new one. And my phone um, does fit in there, but I, I got to play with it a little bit more. But anyway, what I did was this is an old lamp stand. To, it's a really short tripod and I thought well you know to make it long for times when I want it a little bit taller this is an old lamp stand and what happened was that I was having trouble keeping the light bulb on my bulb kept burning out in it well the last light bulb that burnt out in it it literally had a burn hole in the light bulb so this is dangerous and I don't want to use it as a lamp but look at that I can use it as a tripod stand why not right guys um, that was a lamp that I got at Target years and years ago. So I've used it for a lot of years and it just kind of wore itself out or I wore it out. And uh, so there, I, that actually, the height of that stand works pretty good. Now I just have to play around with my cameras and my phone to make it come out right. Okay, so the next thing I got was, I got this, um, uh, I, I like to, I'm trying to be more crafty this year. I've said in my past videos that I'm trying to be a little bit more crafty. And I see on YouTube all the time these people that do junk journals. <clears throat> Excuse me. Junk journal people. And they do coffee, um, coffee dyed and tea dyed paper. Graph paper especially. Graph paper seems to be a big thing. So I was in the Salvation Army one day. It was a while ago. And I found a pad of graph paper. Um, it was like, I don't know, 2 or two fifty, something like that. So anyway, I got this graph paper, but I have co coffee left over every single morning. So I thought, well, why not use it? So for a long time, look at all this paper that I've got. For quite a while, every morning, I would tie, uh, coffee dye some paper. I just put it in coffee sheets and paint it on with a paintbrush the coffee and sometimes I I experimented I put on I threw on some coffee grounds and really sopped it up but boy is it pretty stuff look at that edge you guys isn't that edge cool I love that all of look at that that watermark isn't that awesome that's the graph side and then the other side look how awesome that edge is isn't that awesome that's what those ladies that do such a nice job on all those junk journals, that's what they look for. They look for that edge right there. That little, it looks old and antique -y, And that's the edge that they look for. See that? There's like little water marks on it. That is really... So anyway, I've got all this lovely paper. Oh, look at this one. Look at this one. Look at those water marks on that. Isn't that cool? So... Anyway, I have all this beautiful paper that I am going to <laughs> do something with, but I'm not sure what. I just thought, well, I'll have it handy. And I did get some file folders that I, um, I've i done too, but those are no great shakes. I haven't done a lot of those. Um, uh, so anyway, the big thing of the day that I wanted you guys to see, I'm going to show you one more time, that gorgeous stained glass. Isn't that pretty? So gorgeous. I enjoy that so, so much. And another thing I did that was, um, another thrifty thing I did was, I was, I, it, I had, uh, I had put it away. I, I bought it just before the holidays and I was decorating for Christmas, so I didn't put it up. I didn't put that up in the window until just recently. Well, after the holidays went by and I decided, hey, I wanna get that stained glass window out and hang it up. I couldn't find it anywhere. So I looked all over my apartment for what I did with it. I put it somewhere to, you know, so keep it safe, and I couldn't find it. So I, um, 
I couldn't find it. So I searched and searched and searched my apartment. And while searching my apartment, I found those two suction cup things that it's hanging with. They're just suction cup um, things that you put in your window and you hang stuff from. Um, so I, and then they're heavy duty ones. So that's what I used to put it up with. There was something else I found too that I had been looking for and I found it. Um, but I can't remember what. So my searching for <laughs> alternatives um, brought up a couple other things that I was looking for. But anyway, that's my. Those are my deals of the day. I wanted you guys to get a good look at our beautiful weather here today. You know, a lot of people around here complain about the the, the snow and all that, but I think it's just beautiful. The kids in the neighborhood were just out playing in it, and the dog was out with them, playing with them too. It was so cute. Um, so yeah, as soon as I'm done this, I'm going to go, um, unbury my car now that our plow guy has come and plowed the driveway and, uh, that's going to be my day. So everybody, I hope that you, if you're in snowy weather, I hope you're inside safe and warm. And, um, I hope that all the rest of you, everybody has a great rest of your Sunday. Thanks so much and have a good day, guys. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much, everybody. Bye-bye.